Let's move on to our next story. Now, the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, has dismissed three policemen who raided an elder statement's house, Chief Edwin Clark's house in Asokoro, on Tuesday in Abuja. Now, the policemen had searched for the Ijo leader's residence for arms and ammunition, following a tip-off from one Ismail Yakubu, who claimed to have received some information from an unidentified taxi driver. Now, the spokesman for the Nigerian police force, Jim Omashud, in a statement in Abuja on Thursday, explained that the inspectors, Godwin Musa, Sada Abubakar, and Yabo Paul, were dismissed for, quote-unquote, the unauthorized, illegal, and unprofessional misconduct in the search for the residence of Chief Edwin Clark in Asokoro. Abuja. The three men, according to him, were tried under oath in an orderly room, trialed for illegal duty, disobedience to lawful order and misconduct, contrary to the rule of law. So this is a recent development that we are seeing in the Nigerian police force. Chukudi, how should we take this story? You see, when I first, um, you know, heard the story, it was so embarrassing that police officers who, law enforcement agents who were on duty and who interestingly had a search warrant, went to the home of an elder statesman. Former minister. Former minister, you know, advocate of you know, the South South, South region South of Nigeria. Leader, yes. And showed him the warrant of um, the search warrant. Got into the apartment, searched everywhere, mm. searched outside, but did not find, you know, um, the purported weapons that they said uh, an informant gave them. Now, the police has acted swiftly, but we need to get to the roots of this matter. If you look at the command and structure of the Nigeria Police Force or any other security apparatchik, there is always the order that comes from a superior. God bless you for this question. That so, people act, mm -hmm. you know, on, Based the, on, on such orders. orders. That was yeah. what I was thinking. So who gave them this order? Who gave them this order? Who approved this order? Was there a warrant? Yeah. There was you a search warrant. Yes. The Inspector General of Police has said that you know, the police authority had no idea. Jim Amoshu, the spokesperson, has said the police authority had no idea. So, so they, they made up... They fought it in Oluwale. That's the question. Now, you get a warrant, you know, stating you can proceed with this action, and this action is legal. And now we're hearing that the action is illegal. You know, sometimes, with all the other incidents that are played out, we become worried, and people become afraid. You would recall that... The home of the DSS, um, sorry, the National Assembly was invaded by operatives or personnel of the DSS. Mm. And it was reported widely that the sacked D DG acted on his own. Somebody that has a principal that acts based on others, number one. You would also recall that the house of the Senate president and also the deputy Senate president were blockaded by security operatives. Till date, we have not heard anything. Now, when people look at such issues, they begin to wonder, where is that trust? Where is the belief? How can we repose confidence in these people? I think it is not just acting promptly to sack these um, police officers and also uh, charge the, or arrange the informant uh, in court. It is also getting to the root of this matter. Let us know who gave the order. And if these people acted independently of any other, if they acted independently, then it shows the rot but in the system, they have of acted, command and control. Could they have acted independently if we are seeing that they received a search warrant? So, of course, there are fallacies in the logical reasoning of this story as a whole. But fact of the matter is, let's say we're going by the story, they had a warrant. True. So, it is now up to the IGP to either decide to let the public know where that warrant came from, because, of course, this is a very incomplete story, or for him to sit there and think that the public are not going to ask questions. But, unfortunately, right here on Hello Nigeria, that's what we do. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.